Resistance to mosquitoes. ABCC11 mutation. Mosquitoes are drawn to humans largely through the chemical cues in sweat, particularly compounds that act as signals of a potential blood meal. A rare variation in the ABCC11 gene alters how these compounds are produced, making certain individuals almost invisible to mosquitoes. Instead of releasing the typical dinner bell chemicals, their bodies produce sweat with a composition that does not trigger the insect's sensors. The effect is striking in real life. While others are covered in itchy welts during summer evenings, people with this trait often remain untouched, as if surrounded by an invisible shield. This same gene variant also influences other traits, such as earwax type and even natural body odor. What makes it extraordinary is the evolutionary advantage. In regions where mosquito-borne diseases are common, carrying this genetic difference could provide a significant survival benefit. Ultra-dense bones, LRP5 mutation. A rare change in the LRP5 gene can make a person's bones far denser and stronger than the human norm. Bone tissue is usually a balance of hardness and flexibility, but in people with this mutation, the material inside their skeleton becomes unusually compact. This means their bones resist fractures even under conditions where others would suffer serious breaks. For example, medical researchers have documented cases where falls, collisions, or even direct surgical drilling caused little to no damage because the structure was so fortified. On a medical scan, such bones appear brighter and heavier than expected, sometimes even confusing radiologists. Dentists often notice the trait immediately, since drilling into these teeth requires greater force and time. While this doesn't mean the body is completely unbreakable, it does mean these individuals walk through life with a kind of natural armor, reducing the risks of osteoporosis and other degenerative bone conditions that affect most people with age. Tetrachromatic vision. Most people rely on three types of cone cells in the retina, specialized light sensors tuned to red, green, and blue wavelengths. A small number of individuals, however, are born with a fourth cone type, a condition known as tetrachromacy. This addition changes their perception of color from a three-channel system into a four-channel system, allowing them to distinguish subtle differences in shade and hue that look identical to everyone else. To illustrate where the average eye might register a paint sample as simply pink, a tetrachromat can perceive dozens of distinct tones within that same patch. This heightened vision extends to sunsets, fabrics, or even food presentation, making the world appear saturated with variation that others cannot detect. It is not simply seeing more vivid colors. It is an expanded spectrum of perception, like unlocking an additional sense within sight itself. Short sleepers, DEC2 gene. A rare variation in the DEC2 gene alters the body's internal regulation of sleep. While most people need seven to nine hours to function well, short sleepers thrive on as little as four to six hours without showing signs of fatigue or cognitive decline. This is not the same as insomnia, where someone is sleep deprived and struggles through the day. Instead, their brains and bodies reach full recovery in a fraction of the time it normally takes. This efficiency shows up in how they move through daily life. They wake up refreshed, maintain strong energy throughout the day, and often accomplish more because they have several extra waking hours compared to the average person. Researchers studying these individuals found that their sleep cycles run more effectively, with deeper and faster transitions through restorative phases. In short, their DNA grants them a natural advantage in productivity, alertness, and resilience. Super Tasting TAS2R38 Variant Taste is controlled by specialized receptors on the tongue that detect compounds like sweetness, bitterness, and saltiness. A specific variation of the TAS2R38 gene increases the density and sensitivity of taste buds that respond to bitter chemicals. People with this trait, often called super tasters, experience food with an intensity most others cannot imagine. For them, bitter vegetables such as broccoli or Brussels sprouts may taste harsh, while coffee or dark chocolate can feel overpowering. Even everyday flavors like salad greens or herbs carry a sharp, lingering edge. This heightened perception doesn't only make some foods unpleasant, it also makes subtle flavors stand out more clearly. As a result, super tasters often detect nuances in cuisine that pass unnoticed by others, turning every meal into a detailed chemical experience. Hyperosmia, extreme sense of smell. The human nose contains hundreds of olfactory receptors, each tuned to detect specific scent molecules. In rare cases, mutations in receptor genes such as OR2J3 led to a condition known as hyperosmia, where the sense of smell becomes dramatically heightened. Instead of faint impressions, scents arrive with detail and intensity, allowing these individuals to separate complex mixtures into their individual components. 
This means they can detect odors long after others believe they have faded, or notice subtle differences in perfumes, foods, or environments that most people miss entirely. For example, they might walk into a room and immediately recognize the lingering trace of a meal cooked hours earlier, or identify when someone has changed detergent. While this ability can be overwhelming in strong-smelling places like public transport or crowded areas, it also grants an almost forensic level of sensory awareness. Congenital insensitivity to pain, CIPA. In extremely rare cases, mutations affecting nerve signal transmission result in congenital insensitivity to pain with anhydrosis, CIPA. This condition prevents the body from registering pain signals that normally alert us to injury, burns, or extreme pressure. For someone with CIPA, stubbing a toe, cutting a finger, or even breaking a bone might go completely unnoticed. While this may sound like a genetic advantage, it comes with serious risks. Pain functions as the body's alarm system, warning us to stop harmful activity or seek treatment. Without it, small wounds can become severe, bones may heal incorrectly, and overheating can occur because sweating is often impaired in the same condition. Still, the mutation demonstrates just how profoundly DNA can alter the way the nervous system interprets the world, creating people who experience life without the typical boundaries of discomfort. Golden blood, Rh null type. Blood groups are determined by antigens on the surface of red blood cells. The Rh system is one of the most significant, with most people carrying at least some form of Rh antigen. A vanishingly rare genetic variation completely removes them, producing what is called Rh null blood. Fewer than 100 individuals worldwide are known to have it, making it the rarest blood type on record. This absence of Rh antigens means Rh null blood can be given to almost anyone with rare negative blood types, which makes it extraordinarily valuable in medical emergencies. Hospitals consider it a universal life-saving resource, yet the same trait creates a vulnerability for its carriers. They can only safely receive blood from other Rh null donors. In practical terms, they hold the biological equivalent of a universal key for others, while belonging to an extremely small club when they themselves need help. Natural cold resistance. Human tolerance to temperature is shaped by metabolism and fat distribution. Some people carry genetic traits that enhance the activity of brown adipose tissue, a type of fat specialized in generating heat. Unlike white fat, which stores energy, brown fat actively burns calories to release warmth. This gives certain individuals a natural resistance to cold that allows them to remain comfortable in icy conditions while others quickly begin to shiver. In practice, these people may walk outdoors in freezing temperatures with minimal discomfort or recover from exposure faster than average. Scientists studying Arctic populations have found higher prevalence of these traits, suggesting that they provide an evolutionary edge in harsh climates. The ability to generate internal heat efficiently, combined with reduced heat loss, turns the body into a more effective thermal regulator, a genetic advantage in any environment where cold poses a threat to survival. Exceptional Endurance, ACTN3 and Muscle Efficiency The ACTN3 gene plays a major role in determining muscle performance. A specific variation influences how muscle fibers develop shifting them towards slow twitch fibers that specialize in sustained effort rather than short bursts of power. People with this genetic setup excel in endurance activities such as long-distance running, cycling, or swimming because their muscles resist fatigue and use oxygen more efficiently. This efficiency is not just about stamina. It extends to overall recovery and energy use. Endurance-oriented muscle fibers allow the body to perform repetitive activity for extended periods without the rapid buildup of lactic acid that normally causes exhaustion. Elite athletes often carry this variation, but it can appear in anyone by chance of inheritance. It is one of the clearest examples of how a single gene can tip the balance between explosive strength and lasting endurance, effectively shaping the body's natural athletic profile. Don't just watch the world, subscribe and understand it.